Welcome to Rock in the Kitchen Home Edition. Today we're making pasta vazul. Start by chopping up half of a large sweet onion. Get it nice and coarse. Next, add about a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil to your hot pan. Now drop in your onion. Now I like to just saute my onion until they're translucent. I don't like to overcook my onion or draw out any kind of a burnt flavor. And the same thing actually goes for my garlic, which we're going to add in next. So drop in your garlic, about two cloves, chop it up nice, fine or heavy, whichever way you like it. Uh, it's always about you and your taste. So make sure that you're cutting and chopping and doing these things to your own taste. Next up, we're going to grab some cannelloni beans, or as we said in the old neighborhood, gondolinia beans. So we're going to add those in, give them a stir. Now we're going to add about two cups of chicken stock. Okay, once we have the chicken stock in there, give it a quick stir. And now you're going to add in one can of crushed tomatoes. Again, just give it a quick stir. Okay, and by the way, this is not the soup version of this. This is more like a meal. Later on, we're going to cook the pasta right in this and make it nice and thick. Okay, in the meantime, let's season it. We're going to drop in some salt, crack some fresh pepper, and then you're going to add in some fresh grated cheese. Now, you get to pick which cheese you like. You, you may like Parmesan. Somebody else may like Pecorino Romano, Asiago, whatever you like, put it in. And again, whenever you see one of my recipes, all you ever want to do is you want to make it your way. Make these recipes your own. Okay, next up, we got beautiful basil. My my grandmother, Garvassa Soul, my Nona Grace, used to call me her little basil boy because I would go out on her back porch anytime she needed basil, and I would go to the plant, and I would pick the basil for her, and I always stole one leaf that I would eat myself. Okay, so let's get the basil in the pot. Basil in the pot, give it a stir. Okay, and now we're going to give it a taste. Just make sure that our seasonings are right. If you need a little bit of salt, add a little bit of salt. If not, dump in your pasta. You could use ditalini, ditali. My family sometimes used to break up whole linguine. They would break it three, four times across and then throw it right in there. Now, just get this back to a boil. Let the pasta cook until it's al dente and then scoop it right into your plate. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to get this in the plate, and then we're going to add some toppings. All right, you want to start with just a little chopped up red onion. You put that on top, add a little grated cheese, and then add a little confetti of basil. And there you have it, folks. Pasta vazul, as we used to say in Brooklyn, and as Dean Martin made famous in the song That's Amori when he talked about pasta vazul, well, there you have it, right in front of you. Pasta vazul a la guy. I hope you enjoy don't forget to give us